Aloha and good morning, everybody. It's a very busy day for me on my end. As I make this video lesson, currently futures are up 0.13% for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, 0.15% for the S&P 500, 0.19% for the NASDAQ 100, and 0.24% for the Russell 2000, building on the gains yesterday. And I think that that bodes well overall for the market, probably because my holdings did very well yesterday. Only two half sell stops hit intraday. AVNW then became a 50% end of day sell signal. And CDZI hit partial sell stop, and I have to add back to it. And you can look at that chart right there. That's gorgeous. So CDZI, I got to buy back first off before I even get to the new long positions. But very solid looking market. So you think with these new long positions, maybe we're going to be good to go. We'll see first off that price bar though on third on past Tuesday that we got to get through. We still have a lot of work that needs to be done on all the indexes. So until we fix that bar, I'm going to have a tough time being bullish. But it's good to see all the new long positions. And on that note, first new long position is RHP. This is a cancel quality stock. It was also in my Max Green Bot for five days scam. It's going X dividend tomorrow. So the price you see here is going to be adjusted. So I'm going to be going long tomorrow using a limit order at 6052. If it's gapping above 6077, that's the previous day's high a day X dividend, not on this chart, X dividend. Um, I'll try to use a limit order at 6077. The only cut loss level is going to be the lows on Tuesday of 59.55. However, if I go back to February 1st. The low now is 59.53. So I think that's what I'm going to personally use. So move below 59.53, the February 1st low a day, and I'll be out of RHP. But that's a great reward risk ratio if we can get this thing back to its old highs on February 27th. And then if it can hit new highs, that's great. So we're looking at least like a about a 10% possible move back to the old highs to a 1% risk. I'll take that any day. So RHP, 3% total long position. And then we have NTB. NTB, very similar situation to RHP, can some quality stock. It was confirmed in my price volume BOP scan. So it's also going to get 3% of my account capital. My high is going to be 350 is what my limit's going to be, the high of the day. Sorry, I'm not very good at doing video lessons. And or I want to use 3069 if it's gapping above 3069. So if it's not gapping above 3069, 3050 will be my limit. If it's gapping above 3069, 3069 will be my limit. But no matter what, my final cut loss level is 2981, the 327 low a day. But I like how BOPs have been building and I like the above average confirmation bullish hammer reversal pattern here near this the recent low so ntb three percent then there's nvec i've been very interested in this stock for a very very long time probably since around this move here because that's whenever it got max green bop so then whenever it would just show up in my scans i would just be constantly interested in trying to get long but it never presented a signal well here it's bouncing off the 50-day moving average with a very bullish intraday hammer candle pattern price reversal on strong volume the only thing i don't like bop fell slightly from the day before but it's still a very strong green level so i'm going to go ahead and go long can some quality stock it was not confirmed in any side scan except for my tertiary overall scan that looks for anything up on the day on above average volume so nvec is two and a half percent of my account capital then there is fran Fran showed up in my cancel scan because I haven't updated that scan in over a year because we haven't had a 20% market-wide correction. The Russell 2000 fell 20%, but none of the indexes have on an end-of-day basis, so I'm still using old cancel stocks in the scan. Fran showed up there. It's not a cancel quality stock anymore, and it didn't show up in any scan until my tertiary scan where it showed up on any stock that's up on the day on above average volume. So Fran showed there. Previous canceling long signal, I'll give it a half percent each, 1% of my total account capital. My first cut loss is going to be 1545 My final cut loss is 1496 My way I want to use the limits, if it's not gapping above 1630 I want to use 1610 If it's gapping above 1630 I want to use 1630 And then I have one speculative long position, but it's not that speculative. CDR, another REIT real estate stock, 
You can see the volume surge today. You can see the max green bop for the past five plus days and green bop for the past 20 days. So it's in both of my bop scans and then it's confirmed in my tertiary scan. So it's definitely a long signal. Now I don't have stock charts pulled up over there. So let me look at my desktop. CDR went from being oversold to not oversold whenever it first tried to bounce here in March from oversold RSI. This next leg down got it to oversold again. It's curled back up, back above the 30 line, and MACD has had positive divergence while price hit new lows. MACD, not shown on this chart, shows positive divergence curling up, and the signal line, or the, tar the line has crossed above its signal line it's a lead line. I don't know what the hell you call it. But the black line is crossed and holding above the red line on the stockcharts.com chart. Go check it out. Ticker symbol CDR. You will see what I mean. Okay, those are the new long positions. It's going to be a busy, busy morning. But if futures hold up, it should be good for all of our long positions. Um, three, six, eight. So I'll probably put about 10%. If all these limits get filled, I'll be putting 10% of my account capital to work, and that's about 20% in cash. So I'll still have about 10% cash, even if all my limits get filled for the new long signals that trigger. And my current long position should continue to do well if this market rallies. All right, everyone. Have a great day.